Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today, and we're going to talk to you about this clipper pop-up. Pretty unique one. A lot of good things in this. For those of you that are looking for a pop-up, this may be just the one for you. For more information on this RV or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. But let's get on to this clipper. Okay, folks. So taking a look at this one, this has the front storage box, but what's unique about it is the fact that it slides out both sides. So that way, even when you have the beds out, you're able to get to your stuff on the inside. Pretty unique, isn't it? So I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Now the other thing with this pop-up here is, of course, you can see it's, it has the crank handle. However, you get yourself a three-quarter inch socket and a, a drill, you can use, use that right here to make that a power up, power down, which is kind of a unique, uh, another unique idea. Now I'm gonna be putting all the specs for this particular pop-up down below, uh, but you know, if for some reason uh, you have a question about something, be sure you can comment, you can go ahead and um, give me a call, phone number and all that stuff is below. Let's take a look at the rest of this. So the model number on this one is a 1285 SST. Okay, you're gonna see you have outside stereo speakers. The stereo that you're gonna have on this particular one here is right here, and it is Bluetooth capable. That's a Jensen stereo. You have speakers inside, you have speakers on the outside. Of course, you have a little uh, patio light here. This does come with a canopy. The canopy is just you know sitting in the box up on top. You can see that, but we go ahead and put that on here. You can see you have a storage door to get to from here. You also have a solar plug. So if you want to go ahead and put a solar panel in here, you could do that. Now what's really unique about this particular, another unique thing I should say, there's a lot of little unique things with this, is the fact you have this little tent area, or if you want to use it for cargo, you can. But this attaches to the bed on the outside, and you can go ahead and it has the little uh, areas where you can spike it down. But this could be a little tent, and it actually has a little window so you can see out. But you know, see so that way there, if you have some kids, they want to be outside, they've got a little area that they can have their own little privacy, have a little tent area on the outside. Now this is going to have a slide out. Come on the other side here, kind of show you. So you can see you have the slide out here, and that is very easily, as far as a slide out, very easy to put out and in. Of course, you have your water heater, and of course, then you're going to have this is going to be your outside shower here. So you're able to hose off if you need to. Notice how the windows are slightly tinted. But of course with the bed ends, see with them open, you've got all kinds of air going through it. As you can see looking through it, here this thing's going to have some nice features. You can see you have a nice big stepper door. The nice thing with this kind of stepper door here is the fact that if and when you're camping, when you want to go ahead and leave your campsite, you can actually put this door up and it actually locks. I mean, if somebody wants to get in your camper, folks, it's a pop-up, they can get in. But if you wanted a little added security, you could do that. Now, as you come in the door, as you're gonna see, you're gonna have your toilet shower. Now, the nice thing with this toilet shower, folks, is the fact that you have, you're gonna have the regular shower curtain there, but you also have a privacy curtain that's right here. And this thing will come right across, as you can see, and it'll, it'll block this whole front area for you for a privacy. You can see that the shower head has a little connection port up top. So this is your uh, toilet and your shower, all there in one. You're gonna... Okay folks, so these beds, this, this bed here is 69 inches by 73 and a half. So nice size mattress. It also is a heated mattress for those, you know, early spring or, or fall camping trips, you can actually stay pretty warm. Let me go ahead and turn around and give you a, a view of the rest of the camper. As you can see, the, you have the um, dinette booth, which you can break down to a bed. You have your kitchen area. And then of course that sofa does pull out to a bed as well. You can see, of course, you have the, uh, the blackout curtains you can pull down. That's what these are. You can also roll down the plastic and it'll hold right inside those things. Notice how the bed ends, they do not have poles. You don't have to worry about putting poles on the bed ends. 
Also, this um, kitchen is what we call a swing level galley, meaning that you can leave stuff in there, and as you pull it to the ground, you just have this handle right here on the back, and it just pulls it straight over instead of tipping it upside down. See, this is going to have your furnace, you're going to have a water heater, you have a refrigerator, cooktop, you've got a little sink. Nice thing is that the sink is at the back of the camper, you know, the kitchen area, instead of being in the middle. So chances are you're not going to be um, in the way. Now, the nice thing that they have in here, folks, is on the roof, you can see the AC. But the thing to the left there, that is your power vent fan. So what you're able to do is when you're cooking, you can just open up the screen behind here, pull that plastic down, and it'll pull the air right from here, right on outside. Out out to the outside. Of course, it's, uh, the door right now is stored up. You can put that down. You see I have a little hanger thing right here on the roof. That is not a chin-up bar, folks. You can hang some light things from that. Get them up out of the way. And a good size dinette, as you can see, with storage. Okay, folks, so this is the 2018 Clipper. It's a 1285 SST. For more information on this camper, or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. Appreciate you watching. Love the thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Shoot me a comment. If there's something in particular you'd like me to go ahead and preview for you, please shoot me a comment and I will try to oblige. Thanks for watching again, and we'll be coming back at you again shortly.